I'm Kendra, and I'm going to be doing my first E Yarn Club video with you today. What we're going to be doing is talking about finger knitting. And this is the first attempt I've ever made at knitting or crocheting or anything like that. Um, and I found it fairly simple, and there's no real rules. You just make it however big or small you want to. Uh, because we're going to be making a blanket. So it could be a baby blanket, it could be a full-size blanket. Um, it's really up to you. Today, we're just going to talk about the first step, which is starting your chain and then making your chain the length you want it to be, which is going to determine how big or small you want your blanket to be. So the first um, step is getting some yarn. Now this yarn is a chunky yarn, and it is size six. Now my skeins don't have paper on them anymore because I've kind of taken this apart and putting it back together several times just for practice before I did this video. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get, you're going to open two and you're going to take your two ends here and make a slip knot. So you're just going to make a circle, about enough for your fingers to fit through. And then you're going to reach around the back and pull it through here so you have a knot. Oop. Okay, so we have our knot. You can pull it tight, that way your end is uh, secure. And then you want it big enough for like your three fingers. So Because this is going to be a little chunky, you're going to see a little bit of space between your... Uh, links here. So what you want to do is put it, your fingers in your slip knot up top and then you're going to want to take your working yarn which is the piece that's connected to your skeins going this way. So you're going to reach through and pull it out. So what you want to look at is that your links are just about the same size. So from here to here and here to here with your new one. So you have another circle here, you put your fingers through, and then you're gonna do the same thing again. So we're at two, and this will be our third link. So you just wanna keep count of how many you have, so that way when you get to the end, you can flip and start over again. So this is pretty thick, but it's not really thick, so I, haven't decided the perfect number of links, but I'm thinking that it's going to be about 45 to 50 because I want a big blanket. So you can lay it out, measure it out, and see when you want to stop. So it's really up to you how many links you want to do. So you're going to just keep on, keep on pulling it through here. So you're going to take your link reach through and grab your working yarn and then pull it out so you have another link. And you just want to keep a look, take a look at them that they're all roughly the same size. And you just keep on going. So if you want to get started on this with me, you're going to need to get uh, at least two skeins to start, but just be careful with the colors that you get because I ran into some trouble buying them at Walmart and not being able to find the next color. So just pick something that has a lot. Um, or if you want to shop online and grab some, you probably have better luck getting all the colors you want that way. Um, and then you just keep knitting until you get to the size you want. And on my next video, we'll talk about how you flip and go to the next side so you can start your next chain. Um... And then that's pretty much it. I mean, it's the same thing over and over again. It's very simple. Uh, once you get your, your fingers get the hang of it, you'll, you'll be able to do it. So just keep taking your finger through the loop, grab the working yarn, and pull it through. And just keep track of your numbers. And you can see I've already gotten quite a little chain there. So give it a shot and let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.